everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Today's video is gonna be a follow-up coming right after Friday's video. We are following up from the discussions on Friday and continuing on to this beautiful day. Today I wanted to do two things for you, okay? Two things happening in this video. I am going to test the Dyson Airwrap for the first time in a long, long, long time. <laughs> I have had this too long, hence why you're seeing me in this wet mutt state. And I'm also going to do a wear test of the Fenty foundation. Sorry, the easy drop, easy blurring tint, easy drop blurring tint. We'll get there, it's upstairs. <laughs> so if you wanna see me test those two things, then stick around, that's what we're doing in today's video. I started my morning, I spared you the same shots of me making coffee and doing my workout, but I've done my workout, I have showered, I've got a smoothie unlock today, guys. Switching it up, keeping you on your toes. <laughs> and we're just gonna dive right into the Airwrap life. So I have opened up the box. Now, Dan has actually been using the Airwrap. He uses it and he, I actually don't know which one he uses. Let's see which one's more used. I'm gonna go and assume it's this one. He likes using this on his beard. So Dan has actually been using the Airwrap since we moved in and he's been using that in the upstairs bathroom. It's kind of his little, man dwelling. He doesn't like the shower, which is totally fair. The water gets everywhere, but Dan's been using it. He's been putting it to use and I have yet to touch it. So as I discussed on Friday, if you guys missed that video, I picked up the long hair barrels. These are the long barrels. I got them in both sizes, which was probably unnecessary, but I did it just obviously for testing purposes, but also if I end up really enjoying it, then it's kind of nice to have a thinner option for a tighter curl, thicker option for more of a wave. But yeah, the air wrap guys. So basically the whole premise of this, I'm sure you guys have heard it a billion times. It's been all over the social media space. Uh, it's temperature controlled. It uses airflow to style the hair instead of extreme heat. And it comes with multiple attachments. You've got your curling attachments. These are the original barrels that come with it. Let me actually show you a size comparison. This is the original barrel length and this is the long barrel length that I picked up. So you just have a little bit more room to wrap your hair if you have longer hair. Then you've got your two smoothing brushes. I don't really, I mean, maybe, maybe this would actually help with my like crazy frizz and all my breakage and new hair growth on the top of my head, but these are the smoothing brushes. Then you have the volumizing brush attachment. This is one that I was really excited about and I did actually try it once, but I'm not even counting it as a try because I pulled it out, it got stuck in my hair and I just, I just gave up, I really did. <laughs> I'm just not good at doing hair, that's just the way it is, but a lot of people seem to have this as a favorite and I hope to, you know, become better at using it someday, but there's a volumizing brush. And then this is where I get a little bit confused, but you've got the, the blow dryer attachment. This is the little mini blow dryer, which is what we're gonna start with. They say at Dyson that this is not a replacement for the supersonic hair dryer, but I'm assuming if someone is just wanting to make one Dyson purchase, it's nice that they've included this attachment, but I don't really know what the difference in power is between these two, but allegedly this is not the same as the supersonic. So if you still love your supersonic, this one's just kind of here. I'm gonna try it today for science and we'll see how it goes, but that is everything that is in the lovely little air wrap box. So you start by blow drying your hair, getting it to an almost dry state, and then you can style it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna try using this. I'm such a fan of my supersonic hair dryer. I've had it for years. It's just great. So I feel like I'm cheating on her right now, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. Let's blow dry through the hair and see how she goes. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it there. Some parts of my hair are still quite wet, but a lot of my hair is quite, quite dry. So I'll, I'll leave it there, see how we go. Uh, that was really powerful. That was um, honestly a lot more powerful than I expected and you still have the power and the temperature control there, so it was good. I guess the difference being that if you have the supersonic, you have all of the options for the attachments. You've got like your diffuser attachment, you have the different smooth levels and whatnot for the blow dryer, whereas this one's just this. So depending on what you need, you can determine from there. Let's pop this out. So out of the two attachments that I got, I think I'm gonna try the 30 millimeter. I have the 30 and the 40. So this is kind of where my beef with the air wrap begins. I just find it quite a, a faff and a hassle if you're just constantly having to switch between attachments. But basically when you're curling, there's arrows that show the direction of the airflow and you want it to be facing away from your face. You would think I'm gonna go this way, but I'm actually gonna do this way because I'm gonna hold the air wrap like 
right? Yeah, like this. So I'm gonna start with this one. I always do my left side first. <laughs> and let's just plop it in, okay? And then I'm gonna section my hair. I'm just gonna take two sections on the top, do my center part. So now we've got our two big parts. And from what I gathered from the many videos I've watched, there's many different ways that you can use the air wrap. A lot of people will hold the hair out and do the fun little thing where the air wrap like sucks the hair and wraps it itself. However, I really like the method that Peter does. Peter is one of the Dyson ambassador hairstylists that I met back during the Corel launch. His Instagram is like Chelsea Haircutters or something. He does magical hair. And when he uses the air wrap, he actually just uses it like a normal kind of barrel curler and he wraps it himself. So I'm gonna try that method so you can kind of look and see what curls you're wanting to do and what you wanna try. That's kind of what I wanna try here. I think I'm also going to spray a little bit of hairspray in before just so it stays i don't know i'm going to spray some hairspray this is the way soft hairspray and i'm going to brush it through and yeah we're gonna try should i oh do i turn it on before i wrap or after i don't know Oh, the curl does just stay. Cool. Okay, then the cold shot. Ooh, okay. You know, I wasn't expecting that. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that curl. Oh my God, it's actually so bouncy. <laughs> Okay, so sorry, I did forget to note that. You're supposed to, like, here's the power button. When you push it on, it turns on, okay? But then when you hold the button up, you do the cold shot, and you're supposed to end each curl with a little on the cold shot. I thought that would be annoying, but this was actually very easy to hold. And I forgot about the whole thing that the curl actually does stay. You don't have to sit and hold it. You can kind of just wrap it, and then it sits there. I don't even know what to do right now. That's such a pretty curl. Are you witnessing? Okay, okay, I'm gonna finish this section and then let's chat. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I'm so sorry, Air Wrap, for doubting you all this time. Okay, so this is the first section done. It literally looks like the most bouncy, healthy blowout ever. And it's such a game-changing feeling to not have to sit and hold the hair there and like worry about burning your thumbs as you're curling your hair. Like it just sits and the flow just holds the hair itself. So that alone made it feel like it went a lot faster than I was expecting it. I thought this would be like a very time-consuming process. Let's see the end result. I'm gonna go through and do the rest of the hair. I'm gonna switch and do the other side and we'll, we'll chat about it after. <laughs> okay, so this side has obviously like fallen a little bit more. This side is like the fresh curl, but I am wildly impressed. Honestly, I was not expecting this. I don't know what I was expecting. I just was expecting me to be incredibly frustrated the entire time and I wasn't, so that's delightful. And that's the finished look with the long barrels. For the best looking blowout of your life, very healthy feeling hair, wow, wow. I mean, that's, that's the one. Now the thing with the Airwrap and Dyson products in general is the price. The price is just astounding when you look at it and I understand that there are a lot of people on the planet who are like, absolutely screw that, no way. But the thing that's hard with the price of the Dyson products is the science behind it, right? The health of your hair as you're styling and heat damage and whatnot isn't necessarily something that you're gonna see the effects of and the changes in uh, with your bare naked eye on, an, on a daily basis, right? So it's kind of just like an investment of hair health. So for me, my top Dyson product, still always the hair dryer. If you were gonna choose between the styling products, it kind of just depends what you're looking for, right? Like, I don't know if I would necessarily buy the air wrap and then buy the supersonic after. If you already had a supersonic, this might be something you'd really wanna try and maybe a lot of these other attachments are really speaking to you. For me, the only ones that really speak to me are the curling, just cause that's how I like to do my hair each day. If I could give myself a blowout at home, <laughs> 
We'll keep trying with this. But the smoothing brushes, like, I don't know if I'd really get a whole lot of use out of these. Yeah, I think it's hard to say if the price of the air wrap is justified. I think it just depends on how you do your hair, how you style your hair. If you see the air wrap and you're like, wow, this is exactly how I wanna do my hair, I would absolutely use all of those attachments then that's such a great product for you. Uh, but if you already have the Dyson hair dryer, for example, that's already one attachment that you don't necessarily need if you already have the hair dryer. So it's a little bit tough. Really all I was trying to accomplish today was, does it work? Did the curls work and could we do it? And I don't know why it took me so long to test it. Really, I was just very excited about the long barrels, but I'm really impressed. I am curious to see how much I'll actually end up using this in my daily life. It did take me a little bit longer, but if you're worried about hair damage, if you have very brittle hair, if you have treated hair, colored hair, anytime that you can use less heat on your hair is a good thing. So I'm gonna try and tell myself that as I play with this air wrap, but this is the hair for the day. All right, we've come upstairs. I've switched beverages. I've grabbed a coffee. I'm going backwards today. And today I wanted to do a wear test of the new Fenty easy drop blurring skin tint. This is the packaging here. I received it in PR last week. The packaging looks really, oh my God, there was a hair on it, sorry. <laughs> the packaging looks really nice. It's a really like satisfying feeling bottle and it's got a dropper, which is great. Just super easy to use, really easy to pour out. I have three shades here, two, three, and four. I don't know which one. Let's patch test this. I feel like this one's really nice. That's shade three. I don't know if you guys noticed when I got out of the shower today, my skin was so red. I scrubbed, scrubbed, scrubbed the remnant tan off. And tonight I'll most likely reapply. So I am at my absolute maximum most pale currently. Let's try shade two. I feel like shade two will be a little bit more of a better match. Yeah. So the Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint says it's an easy to apply, flexible skin tint. It evens out your complexion with a blurred effect and the Hydra Blend Complex in humidity, sweat, and transfer resistant formula has a smooth texture that layers well with your primer and skincare. It says shake well and apply a few drops with fingers or the full bodied foundation brush. Obviously, obviously I'm gonna start with fingers first, but I need a, I need a little primer first. Let's take Max Rub Cream, Gold Light. We're gonna be covering this friend today, that's for sure. And I am also not applying any kind of pore primer like I have been recently on the center of my face because I do wanna see how effective the blurring claim is in this little skin tint here. So I've taken a little bit of the product in my hands. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be really pale. And let's go ahead and apply it on. So that's the first layer applied with my fingers. It really just looks like skin. I can't tell that there's anything on my face. I'm a little bit dry around my mouth, but I always am, always. I'm always a little bit more dry right around here. I don't know if it shows up, but it does seem to be crisping a little bit here, right? But then that can also depend what skincare you're putting with it, which is what I always struggle with actually, like which products work best with which, you know, sometimes it's so trial and error and like you'll use a product one day and it'll look amazing. And then the next day you'll use something else with it and you're like, this is awful. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Anyway, I'm just gonna see if I can pack on a little bit more in this area with my beauty blender. I don't know if I'm getting much of a blurring effect, but it did feel very nice going on. As a skin tint, this looks really great. Like it's the lightest of the light coverage just to help even out the skin tone a little bit, but there's definitely no additional coverage rocking on here. And I'm not getting too much from the, the blurring claim. But I'm gonna go ahead and take my Makeup Forever concealer and just use that to add some additional coverage where we need it. Even with careful placement and thoughtful shade, Choices. I'm still so much darker than my, than my neck. So this is the skin up close. Obviously I just put a lot of concealer on, but we will still be able to see how the skin tint wears throughout the day. If you're gonna have a curdly product, it's gonna curdle no matter what's on top of it. So hopefully we'll get a good glimpse of what it looks like later, but here she is after the concealer and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with the rest of my makeup. Nothing new to see here. I'm still using the same daily lineup. I'll link all the products I'm using down below, but you will have definitely already seen this routine. I'm just taking some of my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. 
just took a little bit of my Victoria Beckham 02 lip definer and then some of the MAC Shot of Color Lip Oil in Office Fling. And I did a really light layer. I think it matches the pink in the blush really nicely. Nice little fresh, fresh spring lip for this very, very cloudy day. Little spritz of setting spray. All right guys, that's the makeup. Just a really light, fresh makeup look for today. Just as an update from the air wrap, the curls have pretty much all but fallen out. I'm kind of just left with this really, really light wave. So I don't really know. I'm gonna have to look into how someone would get the curls to hold a little bit more, but we still have a very nice, healthy bounce in the hair. What do you guys think? We'll see what we get up to. And then at the end of the day, we can take a final look at how the skin is wearing and also how the hair lasts throughout the day. Let's see if I get slimy. And we can have a chat then guys. I'm gonna get dressed and head on out. Woo. Here is my outfit for the day. I'm wearing my Ray sweater, obviously, and these Zara pants. I know that they're sold out now and that might be a little bit frustrating to not have access to these, but it's just one of those pieces I bought from Zara and I never wanna take it off. Like it was just such a, sometimes they just have such great finds and they're so cozy. I think I'm just gonna wear my sneakers with them. I'm undecided, I could wear one of the black boots, but we might go for a little stroll again today since you know, the patio life is back on. It feels good to be able to go outside and get some air and see some humans. So that's the outfit of the day, guys. And this is the hair. Just another final look. You can see like the pieces at the front have held really well, but the back has kind of fallen a little bit. And I, I do wonder if it's because this hair was a little bit more damp at the back, but otherwise it does look like a nice, fresh, soft wave in my hair. So that's the final look we're working with, guys. Well, hello, good evening. It's 10.32 p.m. We're here to do the final check-in for the hair and the Fenty skin tint. So, had a full day, had a full day basking in this. We went outside, we had a little outdoor adventure. We went for lunch on a patio. We got some Bloomer's donuts. It was amazing. I got home, I had a huge nap. Big, big, multi-hour nap. <laughs> had a very late dinner and now we're here friends and it's time for me to go to bed. So it's been a, a full lived in day in this makeup as well as this hair. First of all, let's just start with the hair. The hair looks fabulous. It looks fabulous. It feels like I went and had a blowout. Uh, it's kind of a different feeling from curling it. My hair just feels a lot more bouncy, if that makes sense. Having done it with the air wrap, it just, it's a different experience, really. My hair just feels a lot less weighed down. It feels a lot more bouncy and light. I'm excited to keep using it. I'm excited to keep playing with the attachments and I don't know what took me so long, but I'm excited that I now have the long barrels. So I'll play with it a little bit more if you guys have any top tips or if there's any videos for those of you who have the air app that you followed that you found helpful. I would love to hear from you. And in terms of whether or not the price is justified, I think that's a completely personal decision and up to you as to whether or not you're gonna use it. I think I was really impressed at how it worked and I wasn't expecting it to work. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the result, but the price is pretty, it's pretty steep. It's pretty tough to justify for that. So that's totally up to you. That's a you decision. So that's kind of my little roundup on the air wrap. What do you guys think? As far as the makeup goes, I have a few thoughts on this. First of all, I am absolutely expired. Like I mentioned, I had a nap. I had a full nap. I was laying on this side of my face. And when I woke up from my nap, it was like very deep sunset. It was like 7.30 PM, the worst time to have a nap. Oh my goodness. And I woke up from my nap and I was like, oh crap, did I like smush my makeup? And I pulled my camera up and I was like, oh, makeup looks nice. And I took a little clip. So I'll show you here post nap, very heavy eyed me. And uh, yeah, I'm totally, like you can tell where I slept on my face because all my mascara went under my eyes. But I think I did just have a really good makeup day in terms of my skin. It was really nice. It is a skin tint, so there's not a whole lot of coverage. I think that the best product I could compare it to would be the Glossier Skin Tint. But the Glossier Skin Tint's a little bit more dewy. 
So if you weren't able to find a shade in the Glossier Skin Tint and then you want a finish that's a little bit more on the natural matte side, then the Fenty Skin Tint is an amazing option. It didn't really feel like much. It just did the nicest little tinted layer. It evened out the skin tone a bit. And just in comparison to the Glossier one, the Glossier one is very dewy, much more dewy feeling, much more wet looking on the skin. The Fenty one, though I didn't find a blurring effect like I would with my powder, I just felt like the finish was a little bit more natural, a little bit more matte, which in itself can give the illusion of blurring out a little bit more. Does that make sense? Sometimes I feel like I don't explain myself well, and this is also a very informal review, I suppose. <laughs> but I just wanted to do a wear test for you, and unfortunately I have brushed my teeth multiple times because of my Invisalign, so I just have a whole lot of, you know, toothpaste drool here. There's like nothing left here. And then this sit is just ruining my life on this side of my face. But overall, I did just have a fresh looking skin day, so I'm pretty happy with it. And obviously like Fenty is pretty <laughs> undefeated when it comes to shade range, so it's just nice that you're testing out a product that anybody is gonna be able to use. So if you love the idea of skin tints, but perhaps we're just not able to find your shade in another product, it's great to have that option. Also, the other Fenty offerings were a little bit more on the medium to full coverage, so it's just cool that they've brought out this lighter coverage skin tint foundation product. So those are my thoughts there, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you've tried either of these things, if you've tried the Airwrap or if you've tried the Fenty Easy Skin Tint. I can't remember them. Do drop skin easy blurring if you have tried this. Let me know how you have gotten on with it in the comments down below. Those are my thoughts, fam. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for a new video. Bye!